Larson and welcome back to my channel Priscilla here and today I'll be talking about the um, UCL pharmacy entry test. I did an interview, not an interview, I did a video on the um, on how to write a personal statement for UCL pharmacy or for any other pharmacy um, school and I got a few questions about the UCL entry test so I thought I'd just quickly um, just run through it with you guys. So I am a dental student but I applied to and I got into UCL pharmacy um, with an unconditional offer. Um, and I did sit the entry test. This is how it goes. Everyone who applies to UCL Pharmacy um, will have to sit the entry test. And based on your results after that, they interview um, those of you who pass. My cycle had three parts. The first one was um, some maths and chemistry calculations. It was quite simple. Um, things like um, percentages, decimal places, um, converting between units like grams, milligrams, and using those conversions to um, to work out like um, prescriptions and things like that. It was it was quite easy. It wasn't anything serious. Um, the calculation part, the chemistry part was like finding the relative molecular mass, so MR. Um, it was just like easy things like that. Like yeah, things that you can do. So don't don't worry about the calculations. I don't remember exactly how many there were, but I can say that they were below twenty. I wouldn't think there would be more than twenty. I can't remember how many, but it wouldn't be more than twenty. And the second part is like um, ethical scenarios and like situational judgment. So they ask you what what you would do in a scenario like that. I can't remember if they had like multiple choice answers to that i'm not too sure about that i can't quite remember that but i know that they had some ethical scenarios and some um situational judgment so things like what would you do in blah 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 like a b c d I, that's what i can't remember i can't remember if they had um multiple choice scenarios but they definitely did have those ethical questions in that the big part the part that i found the most challenging out of the whole thing was the essay in the end so um at the end they have an essay and I can't tell you what this is going to be. I can't even remember what mine was. It could be anything on health. They could literally give you any topic and ask you to write an essay about it. Um, about like what you believe. And they could like give you a question and ask you to be, to be like, do you agree or disagree? And what you believe, like write an essay on that. It could be anything on health. So I can't really tell you how to prepare for this. Like just know how to write essays. <laughs> it's, it's all about them. They want to know about your beliefs and they want to know if you can, you can back the things that you believe in so that's what that's the that's the essence of the whole um, essay in the end so the end is an essay and that's the part that i found the most challenging because i had to think on my feet um since i didn't know what what the topic was going to be nobody's going to know what the topic's going to be i'd like to believe it was like let's say it's like 50 minutes you want to use 20 minutes for the calculation questions and for the ethical scenarios and situational judgment and you want to make sure you leave more time for the essay so like if it's 50 minutes use 20 minutes for the calculations and the ethical scenarios and use 30 minutes for the essay because you're going to need time to plan it and to write it okay so whatever you do you can split it like differently but whatever you do make sure you're spending more time on the essay than you're doing with um, any other questions. You're gonna find the first two sections not too bad. It's just an essay that you have to like literally think on your feet and um, and answer. So yeah, basically that's it guys. That's a UCL M farm entry test. Um, and if you know me, you know that when I talk, I talk with receipts, okay? So you know that I'm not lying to you. So what did I do? I went onto the UCL pharmacy website and I found a statement. It says the questions in both the test and the interview will be based around our values and we'll look at numeracy and communication skills. Numeracy, that's the maths questions I've talked about. Communication skills, you could say it would be in the essay. We will ask how you might respond in certain scenarios. That's the situational judgment and ethical scenarios I've talked about. Um, so we'll ask how you might respond in certain scenarios and give you a chance to demonstrate your opinions and values through written and spoken answers, which is the essay at the end. So that's a receipt straight from the website so you know that what i'm telling you is true so that's it guys that's the ucl entry test it's not anything to worry about just know that just make sure that you can do simple gcse maths make sure that you can write an essay and yeah you should be perfectly fine with it it it's not literally it's not anything to worry about i mean if it still is what i sat during my cycle then you shouldn't be worrying about it just Take your time, pace yourself well, make sure you have a timer by your side so you know and when to move on to the essay and spend more time on the essay. You should do absolutely fantastic on this one and you should get an interview if you do well in this. So I hope I've answered every question that you had 
about the UCL and from entry test and I hope you ace it, I hope you do well. I'm all for excellence and I'm all for seeing you lot getting into the unis you want to get into. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.